Welcome back to the second part of uh, Democracy in the UK as part of the politics course. Um, as I said, uh, what we've looked at uh, previously are concepts of democracy, some of the key terms that you need to understand, and uh, most importantly, the major difference between direct and representative democracy. Please make sure you understand the difference between the two. Uh, the second part of this lecture is just going to touch very quickly on the development of uh, the vote and suffrage in the UK. Um, we need to go back, obviously, to uh, the first major reform, which was known as the Great Reform Act of 1832. Uh, this was a result of the fact that uh, Britain at that time was changing very, very rapidly. Uh, it was moving from an agrarian to an industrial society and that uh, the, uh, more and more people were moving from the countryside and villages into towns and cities mainly in the north and the midlands but also london too and so the geography of the uk uh, was changing at the same time uh, this meant that uh, places that had been uh, represented uh, in parliament for for many many years many, many uh, centuries uh, were virtually what became known as rotten boroughs because they only had a few people in there and the fact that many of the towns and cities were being underrepresented. Um, also, uh, the great majority of the new classes that were being created, the mercantile class, uh, the working class, the uh, middle classes, uh, all those uh, wanting representation. Uh, and so... Uh, as a result of a great deal of pressure and time over that time. Many things like uh, the Peterloo Massacre and the Manchester Guardian were uh, focused on getting this greater representation. It came to pass in the Great Reform Act of 1832. This was giving the middle classes uh, a vote for the first time. Notice that, though. It only gave the middle classes the vote. Okay, So basically, we moved from 2% of the population having the vote to round about 5%. Uh, please also remember that women weren't allowed to vote at this time. Uh, further reform acts came um, as time went on. 1867 was another major one. This brought in the uh, upper echelons of the working class. They, now, uh, they too now have the vote, but still women didn't. Um, 1918, um, Large numbers of women did get the vote, and finally, uh, 1928, all women and all men now have the vote over the age of 21. Um, after the eight, after 1832, uh, obviously the working classes, as I said, did not have the vote. Um, this led to uh, the Chartist movement um, with their charter for. Um, six demands, the main one being uh, that every man, notice that, had the vote, that there would be a secret ballot, uh, there would be no property qualification, so that meant that anybody could be a member of parliament, there'd be pay payment of MPs and equal constituencies, but also annual parliamentary elections. A number of those, certainly one to four, um, have come into uh, practice now, uh, equal constituencies, um, sort of, to some degree, but obviously the annual parliament has not come to pass. Um, as I said, uh, 1867, this is a second reform act. This gave uh, the working class men the first ever time to vote, uh, but they did have to have a little bit of property. A third reform act of 1884 increased uh, working men uh, their, their capacity to vote as well. But again, there was still uh, a little bit of property uh, 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 focus on, 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 uh, on whether they could vote or not. Uh, but this meant that two-thirds of men over, 20, uh, over 21 couldn't, could vote. Um, and then finally, as I've said to you before, 1918, um, most women could vote, uh, married, uh, uh, so, uh, yeah, so, so women had to vote if they were 30 or over, but then finally in 1928 there was the Equal Franchise Act. 
Uh, this came about not because of the largesse of uh, Parliament or men, maybe because uh, women wanted the vote uh, but were denied it. Some women did have the vote in terms of if they had property but also had, uh, capacity to, uh, to vote in some local elections. But the vast majority, 99%, could not. Um, the approach to getting the vote uh, was divided. Uh, one between a more uh, gradualist and uh, peaceful uh, method run by the National Union of Women's Suffrage. They were known as the suffragists. And uh, a more direct action, more di rad a radical, more militant campaigning run by the Women's Social and Political Union and they were known as the suffragettes. Um, a number of um, quite well-publicised um, uh, activities were taken up by the suffragists, suffer sorry, the suffragettes, uh, obviously things like uh, chaining themselves to uh, railings, uh, attacking paintings in the National Gallery, uh, bricking the, um, I think the part of, uh, Number ten Downing Street. Uh, these all gave them publicity, uh, but also alienated uh, quite a number. The, the most famous event, of course, was the death of Emily Davison uh, on Derby Day in June nineteen uh, nineteen ten. Um, the uh, the fact that uh, she tried to pin the uh, rosette onto the, uh, the the king's horse, uh, but then was knocked over and trampled on, and uh, died soon afterwards. The key thing, of course, was the war, the fact that many men had to go to war and the fact that uh, women had to take their places in industry meant that um, there was uh, agreement by the suffragists and the suffragettes to withhold uh, the radical actions and to help the war effort. Um, this meant that in 1918 that uh, the government eventually accepted the fact that some women were allowed to vote. Um, other major uh, developments included the secret ballots. Uh, up until uh, certainly in 1832, quite often um, votes were held in a field with just people hand uh, raising their hands. Um, and also uh, the fact that uh, people had some people had more than one vote. That was finally abolished in um, 19, the 1940s. For example, if you had a property in one constituency but uh, but had a uh, factory in another, then you had more than one vote. Uh, a Corrupt and Legal Practices Act uh, induced spending limits in elections. Uh, this is very much uh, coming back to the fore uh, even today, showing the discrepancy when we look at, for example, the amount of money that some of our, uh, the Conservative Party are allowed uh, to spend. I mean, see, obviously, this is within limits. Uh, but and then compare that to how much the uh, Labour Party and the Liberal Party, Liberal Democrats, were allowed to vote. So, what are the major issues of today? Then uh, we still have uh, major issues. Um, one is uh, what is the purpose of elections? Uh, should we focus it all on Westminster? Should we drop the voting age down to sixteen? Um, are some or all prisoners have the right to vote? What about non-British residents? Uh, are, are, do, are some votes worth more than others? So, for example, um, for example, uh, Doncaster Central has had a Labour MP uh, and the fact that if you are wanting to earn uh, your Conservative voter, the chances of doing that are pretty slim. Uh, although, uh, the, uh, Rosie Winston, the MP for Doncaster Central, had quite a scare in 2000. Um, when we vote, are we voting purely and simply for a representative, or can there be other issues that could be voted on as well? Should there be compulsory voting, such as in Australia, where everyone has to vote, and if you don't uh, know what you're voting for, maybe spoil the ballot? Uh, how should we vote? What are the systems should we vote uh, with? Uh, is uh, first past the post uh, still? Um, you not just user friendly, which it is, but obviously, um, is it fit for purpose? And more importantly, how frequently uh, should it be up to the uh, government to decide when the next election should be, or should it be uh, as it is at the moment with a fixed term? And that.
finishes the, um, the, the lecture. Uh, so hopefully that has been of some use. Hopefully you can use that. Uh, remember that to, uh, there are a number of lift activities, both in the booklet you've got, but also in the, the previous um, PowerPoint uh, presentation. Uh, so maybe have a go at those. Thank you.